The Homebush Mission Hall was a religious, cultural and educational meeting place for South Sea Islanders who worked on nearby cane farms from the late 1800s. While some came to Australia willingly, most were forced or deceived, known as blackbirding. Their descendants are now trying to digitally preserve this culturally significant treasure. So basically, we're able to use new technologies on these kind of common devices and it has this LiDAR feature that's built into the program and into the device and it, it's creating 3D mapping of structures and all we're doing is just we're kind of house painting but with an iPad and we're just up and down through the structure and it's recording all the little points and in this space we're actually inside the mission hall and so we're able to record the mission hall in full 3D and then recreate that as a digital space. So photogrammetry as a technology is becoming really popular um, in many different industries. So from the automotive industry, through the uh, medical imaging, um, lots of different um, businesses, lots of different industries are starting to use photogrammetry more and more every day. And then obviously the augmented reality and virtual reality is, is uh, using that technology as well. So, you know, in a video game world, you could have people physically or digitally walk into this space and sit down on that pew and then they could have a look up here maybe look at the roof or look out the window or maybe even reflect on their family members who would have been sitting in these pews and it means that people in the future down the track or people who can't actually access this space or who who have a particular desire to be in here but can't will be able to do that um, potentially through the internet by logging into a virtual recreation of this um, mission hall, which is obviously an important space for the local South Sea Islander community. Uh, places like Homebush Mission Hall, talking about old sugar mills, uh, I think they are really special, I think, to South Sea Islander stories. Being able to talk about those sites and finding out more about other sites is really important. Uh, South Sea Islander history and that physical representation in the landscape is disappearing very quickly and has disappeared over the last, I suppose, 50 to 100 years. But, you know, being able to acknowledge the resilience of the Australian South Sea Islander community is at the heart of this project. My family was blackbirded to Australia from the island of Malaita. South Sea Islander people not having recognition for such a long time through state and federal government I think that played a part in, um, you know, stories not being told and our piece of history in Australia kind of been pushed to the side. Um, but it's great to have recognition in our strong communities. Being able to walk through and feel like you're there walking around the Mission Hall, um, I think that's great. So at the moment it's processing, you can see how long it takes, it's, minute, it's seconds really. And then uh, it's going to generate a full 3D map of it and we can zoom into that in and out, manipulate that and obviously all we've done is basically a four by four metre section but we're going to map the entire interior of this hall and then the exterior, that's the, the plan for today. The Australian South Sea Islander community is really uh, engaged with their own cultural heritage and they want to share those stories. And what we're doing as archaeologists is trying to update our ability to interpret and share those stories from moving from the academic process of, of reporting and writing about things to the museum process of then interpreting and exhibiting. But how can we do that in a more engaging way? And so that's why we're starting to use these new technologies um, to, try and, to try and create uh, a storytelling platform that is more accessible for people, whether it's physical or digital, um, but is also more engaging potentially to, to the younger audiences as well. I work in collections in big cultural institutions and I feel as though the South Sea Islander story and the Australian South Sea Islander story needs to be better represented because I think we talk a lot about the early history but um, I think that needs to evolve into actually documenting the histories, more recent histories and experiences of the Australian South Sea Islander community over the last 150 years.